Good morning. I'm back. I apologize for those of my brain freezes last week, um, but I did get to say Happy Father's Day. And I'm glad to be back today. I'm feeling a lot more alert, but I will be taking a couple weeks off to get refreshed and renewed and rejuvenated. I want to read some spiritual books so I can do a a special, um, a, sorry, a series and also work on the video um, services that I had said I was going to do. I haven't had the time to do. So I'm going to take a couple weeks, the first two weeks of July um, to get those sorted out and I'll be back and please listen to past podcasts and stay in tune and not gone I'll be back soon um, we're continuing this is the last one on the journey so this is entitled the journey home um, today and um, I'll read the verse that set with me for this series it's from Isaiah 46 verse 16 I will lead the blind by a road they do not know, by paths they have not known, I will guide them. I will turn their darkness before them into light, the rough places into level ground. These are the things I will do, I, I will not forsake them. This journey home in this series on journey came about, as I said, the past couple of weeks, um, talking with friends and family about the anger in the world and all the changes that are going on. And as I said, I believe it came from started. It was already there, um, but grew out of the COVID shutdown and people's lives just turned upside down from what they were accustomed to. And we are now into a phase of trying to rebuild and people are still angry. People are lashing out and saying whatever they want. They spend so much time on computers and saying what they want because they're anonymous. And now they're out there in the world and it's coming out in different forms. And this is my say on what is going on. And so these talks about journey is a life. It's all about a journey. We get choices about what we do on those journeys. Um, do we want to stay angry or do we want to be in harmony and love and, and joy and work through challenges that come our way because life is full of challenges. So what are we going to do? And today's talk is about the journey home, taking us to the heart of who we are. Um, because many of us are living in fear. You know, it's so much we're afraid. We have to take new steps. We were taken off our quote-unquote yellow brick road and, and fell off it during COVID and all these other things. And now we're going to get on a path and it's different and we're not comfortable with it. And, and, and so much has happened. You know, families have lost family members and we're trying to get back on that path and we're afraid. And remember what fear means. Forget everything and run. And to me, that's the anger coming out and the lashing out or face everything and rise. And that's what the journey home is about, facing everything and rising. So let's pray. Let's take a deep breath in and out and allow the heat and light of God to surround you and embrace you and let the love that I know is in your heart to spread out from you and to embrace your heart if you're having hard times, challenging times. Know that God is everywhere present, that you were born of love and our love. You're a child of God and can move and flow with the same energy and love and peace and freedom and harmony of God. So feel that and know that to be true within you as you release any thoughts of anger and challenges that you're having today, yesterday, or at any point in your life and just breathe it through and ask for God's guidance. 
and you will be guided in the perfect and right direction for you. So we say thank you, God, for those blessings that you receive each and every day, whether they be small or large or medium or whatever they are, they are blessings. And as we stay in this frame of, of being thankful for blessings, we send an energy of light and healing out into the, the war-torn parts, war torn parts of our world, Russia and Ukraine, Afghanistan, and all those areas where violence has taken place around the world, in the U.S. and and in and everywhere. There was Pride Month this month, and there's been a lot of uprising. There's a lot of anger with all the changes and people coming out for who they truly believe they are. Let us honor and be inclusive for all the diversity in our world. For we are all children of God in the one heart, one mind, one love. And let's have faith that this too shall pass all this anger and we will step into a place of peace and we will look beyond all that is happening into greater possibilities, new paths to take, new journeys. And as we breathe in and out, we say thank you, God, for the journey home. And the journey home is knowing your true self and that you are guided and protected and loved no matter what. So I bless each and every one of you as we walk this path called life and know that you are blessed and that anything that is challenging, to you, challenging with you or to you will pass. Not always in a time frame that you want but in God's time. So turn within. Pray. And be blessed. For you are all centered in God's life, love. Safe and assured. Have faith. Trust. And know that you are God. Amen. Amen. The daily word is perfect for today. As always, oh, it's just fantastic when that happens. And it's entitled Joy Today. Joy, joy, joy down deep in my heart. I love that. So the affirmation from the daily word is, I am blessed with indwelling joy. I am blessed with indwelling joy. And that's what we're going to reach for to get us through these challenging times that are in the, our world today. Daily Word says, in John's Gospel, Jesus prays his disciples and all who receive their message will experience for themselves the joy he knows. I share in Jesus' joy as I remember, I am a living expression of the divine created in God's image and likeness, just as Jesus was. My ability to express love, life, wisdom, and all other qualities of God is limited only by my willingness to live from my spiritual nature. I am one with God and one in the oneness of God with all people everywhere. The joy Jesus describes remains with me no matter what is happening around me. I know wholeness in the midst of illness, abundance amid the appearance of lack, even sadness in the aftermath of loss cannot overtake my joy. Joy. And the reading today from the Daily Word is from John 15, verse 11. I have said these things to you so that you may have joy, that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. I'm going to read that again. I have said these things to you so that that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. Yes. I'm going to play a nice 
little tune today and a song I haven't played for a while because home for each other because this is what it is of being connected to that spiritual home, that home that connects each and every one of us. And the song is by Faith Riviere, Home for Each Other. Listen to this one. Here we are living in a new place, feeling the love. All of us dream as we're growing the vibes. Came from the low, now we're making it high. Here we're together, moving up now, off of the floor. Opening doors, and we're hungry for more. Up from the ground, now we're ready to soar. Our home. My title is called The Journey Home because we are home. I talked about two weeks ago about grace and that we need that grace in our journey home to get us into that place of peace and to stay on a, a path that brings about the ch- peace. That path is all understanding. The song talks about you never alone. You are never alone. And we can be home for each other. That means bring peace for each other instead of anger and war and distrust and all of those other things. We can be home for each other. Hold hands of strangers. Embrace the differences and the diversity of our world. It's just a beautiful, colorful place. 
And we need to embrace it so that we can be home for each other, safe and sound. And even when the roads get bumpy, we can lift each other up. I used some terms um, on the talk a couple of weeks ago on how to stay on that path of a spiritual life. And the words I used were recognition to recognize that you are whole and free. You are a child of God, so you're whole and free. And then the sensations was another term. It was a, to feel it, to embrace who you are. And to be awake, alive, joyous, and enthusiastic about life and living. Next word was appropriation, accepting the presence of God through that healing, harmonizing energy that is within you and all around you. And through this, there is transmutation where we praise the spirit that gives us life and give thanks that's such a wonderful thing to just give thanks 24-7. Easy thing to do. Give thanks. And that regeneration is being know that you are renewed and restored and reborn when we recognize and remember we are home. That we have journeyed home. Each day we reconnect with that spirit within us. We have come home. And the resurrection is when we are lifted up in that eternal light of God within us, knowing and the knowledge and the joy of knowing who we are. And from that, there is an immortality. You are alive in the eternalness of being a child of God. These words all tied together and remind us of that spiritual life, that who we are. And we have journeyed there. We can do this journey every day. Just when it reminds us until it becomes a part of who we are. Because we were born this way. But life has thrown us on different paths all over the place. And things are happening beyond our control, but we have choices. And this journey home is about choosing your possibilities. You have choices. What is the possibility that is for you? In a 1936 essay by Charles Fillmore, our co-founder, in an essay entitled The Principle of Identity, he wrote, sorry, he compared the human experience to that of a seed that chooses life either barren ground or fertile ground. Which one do you want to choose? Do you want to be on dry desert ground with no water and nothing? Or do you want a fertile ground which is green and lush and where you can grow and, and keep moving forward? And he goes on to say, Fillmore goes on to say, the divine seed, the the I am or the image of God at the center of man's being that is at the vent, very center of man's mind has all possibilities within it and all the conditions necessary to its perfect fruitation all about it. But it has the freedom of choice. That's the wonderful thing about each human being individualized expressions of God is that we have choices. We have possibilities. And that's where the diversity comes in. And then the inclusion comes to bring it all together. We can all make different choices, but we can honor and embrace all those different choices and possibilities for each person out there. What do you want to do? What do you choose? I want that fertile ground. I want to live abundantly. I want to keep moving forward and keep growing when are we all gonna get through this anger time i don't know each of us has to come to the conclusion that there are possibilities and i can choose life i can choose love i can choose harmony i can choose compassion 
and empathy. I can choose to love my neighbor whether I like what they do or not. I can choose to be peaceful. When are you going to come? Each and every one has come to this revelation that we are all children of God. We all get to discover our truths and sometimes, and they're all at different times and different paces and, and because we're all just wonderfully different, but the same human beings, children, spiritual beings, each and every one of us, there are no exceptions. Our life's experience are our own to make. What are you choosing? We get to choose to emerge from this COVID with joy. Um, the Daily Word is entitled Joy. And one of the sentences said, I know wholeness in the midst of illness, abundance in the amid the appearance of lack, even sadness in the aftermath of loss cannot take away my joy. None of this can take away your joy because you have the choice. There's a quote that Maya Angelou said about loss and those feelings and when you have no answers. And she said, a bird doesn't sing because it has an answer. It sings because it has a song. You have an, a song within you. You were born with that grace, with that love, with that presence of God within you. That is your song. And it reminds me of this uh, movie with the penguins. And he was trying to find his song because all of them say, and he croaked just like me. I don't, I croak as well, but I have a different song. And his was tap dancing while the others were singing. Mine is, I guess, speaking in so many different and other things. And each of us have a song. This is what she says again. A bird doesn't sing because it has an answer. It sings because it has a song. The possibilities you have are within your song. Go into yourself and find it. There's a difference between knowing an answer and successful living when we know this knowledge. For example... Some, most people understand, oh, many of us, like me, understand the benefits of eating healthily and old, and exercise and all things can help you to lose weight and you have all this knowledge and it's, you're bombarded with all these different ways to stay healthy so that you can live longer. But have you made the choice to do those things? Having that knowledge does not magically mean you're going to lose weight or stay healthy all the time. You have to put one foot in front of the other. Move your feet, as we say in unity. From the power of thought, we then must engage the power of action. We have to follow through. It was so interesting. I've been thinking about a lot of things now that I'm finally settled and 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 um, thinking and you know you you get I'm getting older and so retirement will come up and it's like do I have enough money and all those things you worry about all those things and I always said if I ever win the lottery I'm gonna do all these wonderful things and help the gappy house and the hospices and I have so many big ideas to help other people and myself I'm all included in the, and my family and all that but guess what. I never remember to buy a lottery ticket. So I've had this dream for years, but I wasn't doing anything about it. I had to move my feet. So now I have a lot of so much I'll spend every two weeks and I buy a lottery ticket and I leave it with God. But I realized I was always saying this and never doing anything about it. And you know, the lottery is like many other things. It's a charity. A lot of the money used in the lottery is used for many programs all around the world to help education and all these things. So I don't feel bad about doing I'm not spending my last dime, but I'm moving my feet. 
So we have to. The same is true with the realization the truth of who we are cannot ever be found. Is not out there somewhere waiting for us with open arms. It's not necessary. The truth of who you are is not necessarily in spiritual communities with friends and groups and all those things. It's within you. You don't have to look for it. It's within you. It's like that song is within you. And to find what's in you, you have to do the work. You have to live the life that brings you the peace and the joy and the love that you want. And you need to do it with others and share it with others. The journey home, that's where we're going, is ultimately within you. By finding that sense of safety within, we find self-acceptance. And with this, we find a creative spirit and we begin to connect to our true purpose. It's not being angry that the job was lost from before COVID. It's finding another path and that's your new truth pur purpose. And it might not even look like the path you were taking before, but letting go the fear, facing and rising we will find that true purpose for us are true. So travel this journey on that road within. Move your feet, have action, and you will find greater peace. Remember the bird sings a song not to find an answer or to get paid or to send a message of a concern from his cage. The bird sings because it has a song. You are that bird. You are that bird. So have you journeyed home? Are you working on journeying home? Look within. Spend some time getting to know who you are and your true self will be revealed. You are a child of God. Smile. Embrace all the challenges of the world and keep moving forward. And you will be home. I'll finish with that verse again. The uneven road shall become level and the rough places a plain and the glory of the Lord will be revealed. That's from Isaiah 40 verses 4-5. So let's take these thoughts about her journeying home into meditation. So take a deep breath in and out. In and out. Breathe. in the warm glow of God's peace. Hear the gentle whisper of inspiration in your heart. Rest. You are safe here. You are home. Breathe. this time to nourish your soul. You are home. You are not alone. You are safe and secure in the presence in the arms of the spirit within. Take another deep breath in and out and come back to this time. Our closing affirmation, 
I bless my home with love and appreciation for spirit's presence is here with me. I'm going to say it again. I bless my home with love and appreciation for spirit's presence is here with me. Let's say our prayer of protection together as we close today's podcast. The light of God surrounds us. The love of God enfolds us. The power of God protects us. The presence of God watches over us. Wherever we are, God is and all is well. And we are richly blessed right now. Amen. Amen. Namaste. And I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Stay blessed, safe, and know you are loved.